Okay, I'm sorry, I did not even notice this uh, video running out of uh, um, out of uh, digital space. The, the the memory card is using up. Let's see the particles. We are not in the same right same angle, so we do not see the same thing. I think. So here is the tea. And uh, <clears throat> I will not waste too much time because we have only 10 minutes time window. So this one is... Still I want you to see... Um, yes, you cannot see the whole character, but you can see the work of it. The hand in curve. Mm -hmm. This character is Chue. Chue is a little bird. And uh, it's one of the warren or very common bird or swallow, not swallow. Um, I, I forgot much. I forgot the English name. Chue is the little bird. And the Shu is the tongue, the lung. Lung. Tongue, tongue, T O N G E, tongue. This is the tongue. Pen is to spray, and uh, usually we say pen is to spray and to to burst out, just to come out uh, abruptly and uh, strongly. Xiang is fragrance. So, Chue Shu Pen Xiang is all together, is um, the fragrance come out of burst out, uh, bursts out of the little warren, little bird's tongue, because here we have a pair of love birds right so this one is very uh, uh, dramatic kind of dramatic because how big is um, is um, a warren a little bird's tongue it's very small right this tiny 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 uh, little little things and uh, the fragrance i'm sorry <laughs> I must, I must be intoxicated by the fragrance of, of tea, and uh, such a little small tiny things, and uh, the, the fragrance burst out. So it uses a very strong words in such a small tiny thing. It makes a very dramatic, uh, uh, a dramatic contrast. It's just. Uh, great choice of words chinese language is very often is in the in the choice of word oh i'm sorry in any la any language it's, it's the same a great author a great uh, literature artist is usually is always a great uh, person of words a great master of words right this one is also the same so time to drink our tea. Now we move away the plate and look at this tea plate. Mm. It is quite bitter and uh, quite strong tea. Mm. Usually. Okay, I will tell you some, some other story. This is, take it as a story time. And usually I do not drink tea so strong like this. And, uh, but uh, it's good to have a change, to have a try. So these little plates, 
I bought in Crate and Barrow, and it's a porcelain, it's a bone porcelain. And it's, a, it's a very thin, very beautifully made. You can see very thin and almost transparent. And it's made in Crate and Barrow, made in China actually. It's a very, very good. China is very, very famous for for porcelain and um, and of course the the um, <coughs> Silk Road is about porcelain trade and it's a, it's a very treasured so you can trust um, um <coughs> a porcelain from from China right ceramic and porcelain and uh, the shape is uh, is like this one is called uh, um, Gua Hu. It's uh, a lotus, or I don't, I forgot what it is called. This one is a particular a Chinese style, and um, and uh, in ancient time the emperors likes not only emperor everybody likes, and it's one of the typical design like this. Use this waved. And I think Crate and Barrow um, entrusted or licensed China to produce and then ship back to Crate and Barrow for its uh, for 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 its uh, for Crate Barrow for its uh, own production line or product uh, um, catalog. Anyway, uh, it is not a Gorel. C'est pas Gorel. C'est uh, C'est du porcelain, and uh, when I was in France, I used uh, a lot of uh, Gorel, and uh, <laughs> because when I was, I, I, <clears throat> that was the time when I was a poor student, and uh, I used that plate. I was in Paris for one year as a student, a full-time student, so. Uh, I left a corporate world from international import export for from international business and uh, stopped suddenly stopped everything and for love <laughs> I went to Paris to study the language so it's quite a contrast for me from uh, from uh, a more material. Um, satisfying life into a poor student's life. So I used this Gorel and uh, that did not really bring a luxury feeling to me. It brings, it recalls me of, uh, of a wonderful time, but it just does not associate with, uh, with material richness. Anyway, so this is not Gorel, not Okay, I need to put some more tea, and our time is running out. I have no time to tell you another story. Mm. Not in a rush, not in a rush. We can make the third video, how about that? Nothing wrong with it, right? Okay, now we can pour in this one, and at the same time, I tell you the story of this. This one is okay. Let me first pour in the tea, and I think one minute I can finish this story. And this one I bought, uh, some friends asked me where I got this little uh, glass remigan. And I got it in fresh and easy, and it can it is stackable. I bought four. It is not, uh, uh, not cheap, it's relatively more expensive because there is this little remigan. And, uh, but it was it, I love it. And this one is a French brand, Gou. In, Fran in France, in last year, I saw this, and I was thinking carrying this back home is too heavy. So uh, Friday, I found it in, in California, and so love it. It's quite a good flavor, and you can find their website and get more information. Anyway, that here.